Did you get it right? Good. OK, so now let's go through and deal with the inverse. So um, when we're looking at the inverse, ladies and gentlemen, they give us f of x equals 3x minus 4. But what they want us to do is find the inverse. And if you guys remember when I taught this, the inverse was our step-by-step -step process. All right, I had you guys write these down in your notes. All right, so the first step was to write as a linear equation. Now, sometimes, you're, sometimes you had already had an equation. You didn't have it as a function. You just already had it as a linear equation. So to find the inverse, you already would have to write it as a linear equation. So the first thing we want to do, if I'm given f of x equals 3x minus 4, to write it as a linear equation, I'm just going to use x and y's. All right? So the first step is just to write it as a linear equation. Because we don't want to do mathematical operations with f of x, even though f of x and y are both your output values if you were to graph it. But we want to deal with y. Because step number two says to swap your x and y variables. So now we'll swap x and y. So this was step one. Step two, you just swap x and y. Okay, so just follow the step. Set as a linear equation, swap variables. Step number three, solve for y. So now what we do, solve for y. So you add four to both sides. And remember, this is a literal equation. So you're not going to be able to get a value. So it'd be x plus 4 equals 3y, then divide by 3. So therefore, four, um, not yet. So therefore, we have x plus 4 divided by 3 equals y. So I've done now step number 3. Can't you simplify that, uh, We can rewrite this. We can write the y first and write it as 1 third x plus 4 thirds. If we were going to graph it, if you guys remember graphing it, remember I asked you to graph the inverse? This might be a little difficult to graph. So one thing we can do is divide the 3 into both of those terms. So then we have a slope and a y-intercept. But for this case, I'm not asking you to graph it. So leaving it in that form is fine. But if you were to graph it, you might want to remember how to do that. Um, and then the last step, 4, write in inverse notation. So inverse notation, ladies and gentlemen. So originally, if I had a function f of x equals 3x minus 4, inverse notation looks like this. f inverse, with that little negative 1 of x, equals, what did we say? What did y equal? x plus 4 divided by 3. And that's the answer. That is incorrect. You have to rewrite it in inverse notation. So just saying this is not going to be correct. So what you have to do? is all you got to do one last step is write it in inverse notation. Because that's what the question is asking. The question is asking, what does f inverse of x equal? So that's what you go and to write it in as. OK? So got that one. Um, 